here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hulu, you'd visit her often. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your. I never mix business and play. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So, enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine, let's find the key. Damn it. What is your age? Uh, the key. Whoa! What a devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return if you're amount, or we'll settle this another way. Alright, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're arrogant and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltiness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Daryl just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Suppose. In that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. The man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back. I've still got to stop by Rawlings. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank? Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the call. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary. I'm so out of my head. Really? You go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Abomination.
So bugger off! Feeding times, first come, first serve. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. 
Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son, Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up with a clean slate. Without a spell of bad luck with you. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you took them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hit them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering fog. Then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Who's asleep in midst the trees? Bats all a swaying in the breeze. But one soul lies anxious, why? Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Valen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. You chop one slice, you cut and dice, you eat, you uphold, eat you whole. Another drift of in from Temeria. Let's go! Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can you get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Right. Ooh, I demand she switches for me. Right. Thank <laughs> you.